Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net and I'll be showing you guys how to share a folder using Windows Server 2012. Now open the Server Manager and click on File and Storage Services. Then click on Shares. In the middle column here, click on the Tasks drop-down and click on New Share. Here you can select different type of shares. If you don't know the difference, you can always select them and read the description so you'll know the difference between them. I'm going to select the default one, SMB Share Quick, and then click on Next. Here I can select an entire volume to be shared or in a specific folder. To select the folder, check mark, type a custom path, and then browse for the folder. I'm going to select a folder inside Drive E. I have no folders in there, so I'm going to create a new one. Just click on the New tab on top. It'll create a new folder, rename it, press Enter, and then select the folder. Very simple. It gives you the path. Once you're sure, click on Next. You can uh, select a different share name. It also give you the local path and the remote path to share. Click on Next. I'm going to leave this default, Next, and now you can customize the permissions. For the built-in users, for example, customize permissions, and you from here on can customize the permission depending on the group. For example, everyone here, I can just select it, and then edit the permissions. I don't want full control, I'll just remove the full control. You get the point. I'm going to go, go ahead and cancel this, cancel this too, and then click on Next. I'm going to leave it default. Confirm that your the settings are correct and then create. Perfect. It was successfully created. Now let's put it to the test. I've got a client computer here. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the network uh, shares. And here I have the avoid errors folder that I created. I can easily access that. Perfect. Now another method, another method to share a folder would be from the server manager, click on local server, and then click on the task drop down, and here click on computer management. There's many ways to share a folder. Here select disk management, then right click the drive that you are sharing the folder, and click on open. And here you can create a folder or share that is share one that is already created. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder here. I'm, I'm gonna name this avoid errors one. Perfect. And then share it. Now this way is much simpler. Just right click, properties, sharing tab, advanced sharing. share this folder. Here I can uh, select the uh, share name and the permissions. Everyone, if I want to add, uh, I can just click on the add button, full control for example. I'm going to go ahead and click on add, select admin group, and I can select the administrators. not going to do anything here, so I'm just going to leave it um, as is, everyone, full control for this tutorial, and then apply. OK. Apply OK again. Perfect. Now it's exactly the same thing we did previously, but in a different way. Go into my network shares here on a client computer, and I'll have this additional folder being shared. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.